with Schoology, especially when students are submitting from apps that they have to select Schoology as their destination. So let's say I have a pages document and we go to add that to an assignment that I need to turn into. And so you can see right now, here's all the assignments that is just here for the first nine weeks. As the school year progresses, this list is going to get longer and longer and longer. And you can see listed by alphabetical order. Students at times can get a little confused and possibly submit assignments to the wrong destination. So we're going to look at how we can prevent students from getting multiple locations listed in their list when they are trying to submit assignments. All right, so I'm going to go into my first nine weeks folders. And so you can see I have a folder for each week. If the nine weeks is over and students are no longer going to need to turn in work to this assignment or any of these other assignments, I can take these off of the list so students do not get confused and try to submit to the wrong place. So I can go into the gray gear and do edit. And I can come down here to the bottom of my options and click this button right here and this will now disable submissions so when I save that if the student goes to that assignment they will not have the submit if they are submitting from another app into Schoology that assignment will not show up a possible destination for their work so again go to edit I can come down here to the bottom disable submissions save changes now, unfortunately, I have to do this individually, so this can be time consuming. So let me show you something else that you can do. So another option that you have is you can do the gray gear again and do edit. But this time we're not going to do disable submissions. We're going to click the lock. Now the lock will do the same thing. It's going to disable submissions and students cannot turn in work to this assignment but it does have an extra feature. You can see right now this assignment is locked. A little question mark here that will tell me what this is going to do. It's going to disable the ability for students to submit. That's what we want. But if I click this down arrow, I can lock on. And so if I know that my nine weeks is going to end on the 6th, and so I'm gonna say by Saturday, everything has to be turned in by midnight and save changes. So that assignment will stay available until the end of the nine weeks. This also works for discussions. So if the nine weeks is totally over, I can just go ahead and lock it now. But again, we've got a few more days for students to do work. So let's go ahead and give them that opportunity. So I'm going to change it to November. And again, we're going to say Saturday at 11.59 and save changes. So again, Saturday night at 11.59, these assignments and discussions will lock and the students will be no longer able to submit. All right, so as I move forward and start making my assignments for the next nine weeks, I can go ahead, if I know the date that the term is going to end, so actually off the top of my head, I don't know what the date is, but I'm just going to guess. So I can go ahead and say, hypothetically, if the next term ends on this date, ends on Friday and I'm going to take work all the way till Saturday. I can do that. So then as I move forward and start making my assignments for this term, I can go ahead and put that lock on as long as I know what the date is that's going to be for the end of the term. And you can see that I always can come back in here and edit it. If I, if there needs to be changes to the school calendar and the term date is going to end, but that way it will be ahead of me and I won't have to come back in here and do it again. All right, so now if I go back to the pages to turn in that assignment, and I do the three dots, and I export, export as a PDF, and we'll go find Schoology, and we'll go to submit my assignment, and go to my course. You now will see that there's only the current nine weeks assignments that's showing up, which can help alleviate some of the confusion with students turning in things. So hopefully having the lock feature and the disabled submissions will help you have a successful school year.